Welcome to Eagle Nursing Home Weekly Bulletin. My name is Ariel Sharon Juma. Specifically, I want to talk to you about the COC and POP, mentally known as the COX. So, this uh, method of family planning, it is well known by each and every person, especially in our country. Majorly, young, young girls, and I can say young women, young adults, they like and they prefer this method so much because it is suitable for them. So that's why we felt like we want to bring the news to you so that at least we educate you much into deeper detail of this specific um, family planning method. This family planning method is just a pill that contains um, synthetic estrogen and progesterone hormones. These two hormones are also made in the human body, but now we introduce it synthetically. That is, it is an artificial way of uh, introducing these hormones into your body to prevent pregnancy. So, I know we can ask ourselves, how does this family planning method work? What is the mode of action? Our mode of action for COC, the, uh, the uh, combined oral contraceptive, is just by inhibition, inhibition of ovulation. It prevents the release of the ovum. It prevents ovulation and also it thickens the, um, the cervical mucus. So by thickening it, it, it does not allow the transfer of the sperm to the ovum. Hence, it prevents um, fertilization of the, of the eggs. So that's how, that's how it works. It, is, it has two types. One, it, it has 21 packet pills and also it has 28 packet pills. So today I have the 28 packet pills. I think you can you can all see. Yeah, this one is the 21 uh, 28 packet uh, pills. It prevents ovulation and also it prevents the cervical mucus. Hence, it prevents uh, the sperm and the ovum from meeting. If you can see, it has two colors. We have the yellow color and we have also have these pink colors. So the yellow color, majorly, these are the active pills. Active pills, I mean that these are the hormonal pills. Then the seven pills, which are down here, these are just inactive pills. It only contains uh, iron. So you find that when, um, when a mother takes uh, these pills, you start from day one. You go on through up to day 21 here. So when you take this piece by this day 21, you'll, you'll realize, if you take it consistently, by the way, you'll realize that by the time you reach uh, day 22, you are, you, you are supposed to be starting your menses to, to most of the mothers. Not all, but most of the mothers you find that by day 22, they start seeing their menses. So this Pills here, they, they are inactive. They are not active pills, so else they don't have hormones. They have iron, which helps to boost your blood because we believe by this time that you are you are you are, you are having a menstrual period, you are losing a lot of blood. Are you okay? So we boost our blood level by taking the iron supplements. The only active pills are the twenty-one pills. So you find that, like for example, the especially the pills that are given in public, it has only 21 pills. Then you find that after taking the 21 pills, you have to rest for seven days. Then you start another, you start another packet. But in this case of 20, uh, 28 pills, after finishing the 28 pills, you have to start all over again with a new packet of pills. You don't miss any pill. This drug. What is the, the effectiveness is, is 99.7% uh, WH proven. Consciously, it's very effective when you take it very consistently each and every day without missing. And if you miss any pill, for example, we are human, we can forget. If you are forgotten to take one pill, the moment you remember, 
you take that pill immediately. The pill that you are supposed to take on that day, you take it on that the same exact day. Then the pill, the subsequent pill, you take it the normal time. If you are forgotten to take this pill on a day, a three days consistently, you have to you have to take these pills two pills a day. You have to take two pills each and every day. And remember that on this particular time, you have to use a backup, such as the uh, condoms, because you are um, at uh, you are at risk of getting pregnant if you have forgotten this pill. I mean, for more than three days. The advantages are outweigh the disadvantages. One of the best thing about this uh, these pills, they prevent your chances of getting ovarian cyst and also ovarian cancer and endometrial endometrial cancer. So it is the best method for those mothers who are, for example, at risk of getting such kind of um, serious illnesses uh, in their in their life. So one of the advantages is that it is easily accessible. These things are easily accessible to each and every person. As long as you are above 19 years or 18 years per se, you can use this pill. And it is the availability, it's almost 100% in every facility. So you will always find this, uh, this pill in most of the facilities. The effectiveness is at 99.7%. So it's the best that you can, you can think of. It, uh, it is it is easy to use it. Like even it is well understood, you can use it very well without any without any problem because it is well elaborated here from day one up to day seven. You, you just follow the arrows. Also, it is easy to obtain. As I said before, you can find it in so many facilities. Another thing, it is safe for you to use it. As long as you don't have any contraindication, it is very safe for most of people out here. And also, it also helps mothers to, uh, for those who have heavy flow, it, it reduces their menstrual flow. So you find that they have a normal period flow without heaviness or even without, uh, it also decreases the, the pain. For those who are having abdominal cramping, especially when having their lenses, you are good to go by this uh, by these pills. Another advantage of using this pill is that we do it, it, it uh, reduces symptoms of endometrial and polycystic ovarian uh, syndrome. So these diseases are especially for the, uh, for women who are out here that are fighting so uh, so many reproductive health issues. So it it uh, it is one of the best when you are having such kind of symptoms. Also, it is used to against uh, protection against ovarian and endometrial cancer, as I mentioned earlier. And also, it is a treatment for acne and uh, high uh, high citizen. So you find that, for for example, we have mothers, uh, we have female uh, gender that are having issues with the uh, hormonal imbalance. You find that they are having sometimes BS. So you find that when you are using this kind of uh, pill, it helps to reduce the chances of this hormonal imbalance. One of the side effects is we have a breakthrough uh, a bleeding, mentally known as the protein. So you find that especially within, uh, within the time you, initi you initiated this pill, up to three months, you'll be having a lot of hormonal imbalance here and there and you, that's why you find that you will you, have some spotting or breakthrough bleeding you you will experience some mild headaches here and there but not that severe it is just a mild headache and also you will have nausea and some extent it can go up to vomiting but mostly you will find if for example you use the pill maybe twice a day that's why especially in missed pills that is the time you have the side effect of nausea and vomiting. Uh, another side effect is abdominal cramping. Some mothers do say that they are they are having abdominal cramping when they are while they are using this pill. So 
we just a few of them, but not all, if I can see. Just a few are complaining, but most of them, they don't have this uh, complaint of, of abdominal cramping. Another side effect is breast tenderness. So some mothers uh, tend to think that their breasts are tender while using this um, family planning type of method. But uh, most mothers don't experience that, but to some extent, some can. Um, another side effect uh, is that we can have uh, weight gain to some mothers because they definitely these are hormonal uh, pills. So they interfere with your hormones here and there. Hence, you can have a weight gain. Another issue is mood swing. Also, because of the hormones that are put in your body, you can have um, variation of moods. You are happy, you are sad, you are some, sometimes you feel bored. It's very okay sometimes while using this pill. We also have major side effects of these pills. They don't, uh, they don't occur most of the time, but they are there, they can occur to some mothers. That's why we have to educate you while using this pill. So one of them is having my, my, uh, myocardial infarction. So myocardial infarction majorly is, uh, just an example, uh, is not an example, but you have signs and symptoms of heart failure. That's why it's very, very important. When you're starting any family planning, not just the pills, we have to check on your blood pressure. We have to, majorly, we have to check on your vital signs. That include your blood pressure, the pulse rate, the respiration rate, and also the weight. Because we, in our facility, as Eagle Nursing Home, we ensure that we, we monitor your vitals when you come in for your checkups. Because after getting this pill, on any other family planning, we ensure that you come back for your checkup. You see, if the uh, contraceptive that we are giving you is uh, is taking you well or it's not doing you well. Another major side effect is a stroke. Of course, now this is now the uh, bad and the, to the bad extent of this uh, contraceptive pills. You can uh, it can lead to uh, to stroke. The third one, it is having venous thrombosis. We know that any hormones in our body are enough, but when we um, introduce other, when we introduce other hormones, it can lead to venous thrombosis. Most of these contraceptives, not only the pills, so we have to check them well, but now, one thing, one key message I want to get from you, check your vital sign, the blood pressure, the pulse rate, the weight, and the respiration before getting any family planning method. For example, one of, one of the instances that these uh, pills will not work properly is when, for example, the patient is on some of the ARVs, okay, some of the anti-epileptic um, anti drugs or treatments, and also, when someone is on anti-TB drugs, especially on the sampicin therapy, it can lower the effectiveness of the pill, but it will work. It only lowers the effectiveness, okay? You're supposed to share this history with your health, pro health provider who is giving you this family planning because they will have to find a backup plan for you to use them as long as you're still on the treatment. Effectiveness may decrease when somebody uh, is suffering from gastroenteritis or severe vomiting. Reason being, when you are having this uh, severe vomiting, you find that you lose a lot of electrolytes, you lose a lot of fluids in your body. And also at the time that you are vomiting, you find you can vomit the pain. So hence, you, the pain can, uh, uh, the effectiveness of the pill can reduce. So that's why you also need to share this thing with your health provider. The last thing um, I want you to know and get it very clearly that these pills do not prevent you from getting the STIs, the sexually transmitted infection that includes the HIV, 
the syphilis, the gonorrhea, the chlamydia, and ETC. These things only prevent you from getting uh, uh, from from you uh, only prevent you from getting pregnant. But if you feel that you are sexually um, acting and uh, you are not sure that your partner is faithful and also you yourself are not faithful, I'll, um, I'll advise for you to go for, for a second uh, backer. That is probably the condoms because at least condoms prevent the STIs. The people that are supposed to take these pills are only reproductive women from 18 to 40 years of age. And also, women of any parity. It means that it can work as long as if you have one baby, two babies, three children, all those any parity. This pill can work perfectly fine. Also, non breastfeeding women, more than three weeks postpartum. Okay? So if you're breastfeed, if you're a breastfeeding mother, this pill is not for you. This pill is contraindicated for any breastfeeding mother, less than six months. Okay? If there is an additional risk that she, uh, that any client might develop a blood clot, in a deep vein, that is what we call the deep vein thrombosis, then she should start at six weeks instead. That is a breastfeeding mother. If there is any risk of breast, as a breastfeeding mother, below three weeks by postpartum, and she, she has the risk of getting DBT or uh, uh, venous thrombosis, then the patient uh, should start uh, using this COC six weeks, instead the progestin only pills these are pills majorly used by breastfeeding mothers the lactating mothers because these pills are the best for this particular time because they do not affect the production of milk uh, for the mothers so you find that our babies are getting enough uh, breast milk and also our mothers are doing their family planning at the same time these pills there are so many brands but all of them they have same ingredient and uh, at the and also the same doses so whichever the brand you get all of them they are the same one of the mode of action is thickening of the cervical uh, cervical mucus it works more of the same uh, just like the coc but this one is just for the breastfeeding mothers so you find most of these things are they are just the same with the coc so you find that the, uh, one of the mode of action is to thicken the cervical mucus. They prevent, this, uh, this prevents the sperm, the sperm from uh, reaching the ovum. So fertilization cannot take place. Also, it inhibits ovulation. Uh, ovulation, as we said earlier, is just uh, the um, uh, release of the, the ovum. So it prevents the release of the Ovum. So, how is this uh, mode of uh, family planning effective? So, WHO has proven that it is 99.5% effective. The same as just the COC, you are supposed to take it diligently and consistently without missing any pill. By doing that, you increase the effectiveness of this pill. One of the advantages that it is that it is safe and very effective. So if you use it, as we said, consistently, each and every day with a single pill, you find that the effectiveness increases and it is very, very safe for our breastfeeding or lactating mothers. Another advantage is that it does not affect the breast milk. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, it does not affect the breast milk in sign that you produce enough milk for all your babies. Another advantage that it, uh, a perfect exam is not necessary when we're using this, uh, when we want to initiate on this uh, particular method. So, it is suitable for women with risk factors for heart failure, stroke, and thrombosis. So, we said under that, uh, in, uh, in COC, major side effect of the COC is that it leads to 
thrombosis, it leads to myocardial infarction and also stroke. But in this particular pill, it is best when you use it because it is good and it is very safe for mothers with heart failure, with stroke and also thrombosis to use this particular method. Uh, then we find that the return of fertility, it is superb, it is almost immediate, okay, upon this continuation of this pill. So you won't struggle. When you want to uh, to be to get pregnant again, uh, it is it does not delay your fertility. So it is a perfect mode of uh, family planning for those uh, breastfeeding mothers. One of the non-contraceptive benefits is, is that it helps to prevent anemia. Another thing, it also helps to prevent endometrial cancer. It is just the same as with the the COC because it has the progesterone hormone. Another thing, it has less side effects because you find that the progesterone that uh, that is uh, that is uh, put in this uh, POP, it is less. It is about 10 to 15 percent of the progesterone that uh, as compared with the COC progesterone. So it is lesser. Hence, you find that the side effect uh, it is uh, it is minimal and it is um, uh, man uh, manageable. So side effects are just the same as the COC. One of them is nausea, nausea, but it can also proceed to vomiting, but rarely. Uh, you, you can have pronounced and heavy uh, bleeding. So this one, it is not spotting. Sometimes it can have a heavy bleeding. Some, some mothers, uh, but really have spotting. Most of them, you find that they can have a heavy and prolonged bleeding. Another thing, severe abdominal pain. You are uh, also severe abdominal cramping. So it will, uh, sometimes the, the abdomen can be too painful uh, when you're having your menses, especially. So uh, that's one of the side effects. Another side effect that you can have um, bleeding changes. Uh, bleeding changes are common, but it is not harmful. So you can have, you can see that you can have that spotting sometimes. You can have normal bleeding sometimes. You can have heavy flow, so it changes. Another thing you can have mood swings, as we said it also in the CSC. Your mood can change from place to place or time to time. Uh, we can also have headaches here and there, just the same with the COC, and also the breast tenderness. So you find that the side effects are uh, are just like the COC side effect. Okay, so they provide a slightly lower level of contraceptive protection than the COC. So if you're not pro breastfeeding and you, you like to use or you, you feel like using the pills, you, you, uh, you use the COC. Because COC effectiveness is higher than this or POP. Another thing, they require strict daily pills, preferably at the same time each day. Strict uh, daily pills without delay or without missing any pill. They do not protect against STIs, just like the COC. So you have to use a backup plan, such as the condoms, to prevent STIs. This um, method is less effective in women who are not breastfeeding. So I'm emphasizing, if you're not breastfeeding you can, and you want to use the pills, you go for the COC either the 21 packet uh, packet pills or the 28 packet uh, pills. It is the, it is good because when you use this pill and you're not breastfeeding, the effectiveness will go will be very very minimal. One of the uh, criteria is that it is suitable for all ages. So it does not matter if you're 18, if you're 30, if you're 40. It uh, it covers all ages, so each and every person can use this pill. We are as long as we are within the reproductive age, it is okay. Another thing, women of any parity, just like me, COC. So, if you have one child, two children, three or more, you can use this pill. But remember, while breastfeeding, 
Another criteria is during postpartum. Of course, because we are talking of breastfeeding mother, it is during the postpartum. You can also use, the, use this pill post-abortion. So after having either septic abortion or any other type of abortion or miscarriage or even ectopic pregnancies, previous pelvic uh, surgeries, even when you're smoking, when you're having a baby, you can still use this pill. So it is a very good uh, method of uh, family planning. But when you uh, take this, um, when you take this pill, daily without missing it. This November, that, that, uh, that is November 2023, up to 31st December 2023, we are going to um, provide free family planning services to all our mothers, to all our youngsters out here. So if you're a resident uh, at Kawangware, we are offering family, family planning services free of charge as a mode of giving back to the community. The community has, support, has, has given us good support and we love you so much that we, that's why we are here today to give you this free service.